Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami and you are watching civil engineers YouTube channel dear friends in this video lecture today i am going to discuss about how to calculate area of column footing let's get start and remember in next video i will show you how to calculate depth of column footing okay in next video how to calculate depth of column footing in this video you will learn how to calculate area of column footing so this is column so what will be the area of column footing okay so what will be the area of footing for this column which size is 400 millimeter and 400 millimeter let's get start so if this video is helpful for you so must like this video and share this video with your friends and if you are new on this channel so must subscribe this channel for more update videos so in given data we have to find area of column footing for the load of 2000 kilonewton so p is equal 2000 kilonewton and size of the column is 400 millimeter and 400 millimeter so this is the diagram 400 millimeter and 400 millimeter so what will be the area of footing this side will be and what about this side okay because this is square so each side will be equal with each other so size of column footing to uh, 400 millimeter and 400 millimeter and sbc soil bearing capacity which is 150 kilonewton per meter square and remember we have different types of soil and different types have uh, and different soil has different bearing capacity right so if the soil bearing capacity is 150 kilonewton right and load is 2000 kilonewton and size of the column is 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter so what will be the area of footing for this column so this is our question now i will find area of footing for this column so area of footing so first of all i will increase 10 percent of above load so this is 2000 kilonewton load okay so 2000 kilonewton load is coming on this column load of building or anything okay so 2000 kilonewton so first of all i will put factor of safety in this okay so it will increase 10 percent of above load above load means 2000 kilonewton so is equal 10 percent will become 0 0.1 multiply 2000 which is this one so it will increase 200 kilonewton right so so total load is equal 2000 kilonewton plus 200 so is equal 2200 kilonewton 2000 and 200 kilonewton now we will find area of footing for this load not for this one because i increase 10 percent of above load right so formula for area of footing formula for area of footing so is equal p divided by sbc p is 2000 kilonewton but we will not put 2000 kilonewton here that's why because i increase 10 percent of above load so p divided by sbc sbc is soil bearing capacity right so our strength of soil so area is equal p area of footing is equal p p p is already here 2200 kilonewton right and divide by 150 150 is soil bearing capacity okay so when you do uh, when you divide to uh, 2200 divided by 150 so it will give us 14.66 meter square so we should provide this area 14.66 meter square for this column this area should be for this footing right so how we will find the sides for this so find the side of square column footing so this is footing so what will be this side and what will be this side so is equal take under root for this area okay so 14.66 under root is equal 3.82 meter so say 4 meter should be each side of this column footing size okay side so this side will be 4 meter and this side side will be also 4 meter right so this is too much important many student they don't know how to find area of column footing so if this video is helpful so must like and share the video with your friend and wait for 
next video how to calculate depth of this footing right thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye